Hey y'all, it's me, Slave by Jordan, and the company we'll be collaborating with today is Julia Hair. Inside your packaging, you'll receive two new wig caps, an extra adjustable strap band, and you'll receive your wig in a separate plastic bag. They sit over a 22-inch 613 bodyweight wig. It features transparent lace and 150% density. Fresh inside, and it did come slightly pre-plucked. Let's get straight into this color. For the color for the roots, I'll be using Wella Color Charm, the permanent hair color. I'll be using 6NN, which is dark, intense blonde. And you're going to mix that with your 20 volume Wella developer. Make sure you read the back of the box color instructions so you know the exact measurements. Right now, I'm using my rat tail comb. I'm using the teeth of the comb. And I'm just precisely painting that color on the roots. This is what's going to keep you from getting the color on the lace. This is like the best trick ever. You literally just put the comb in the dye and you comb it onto the roots. It's so simple, y'all. Don't even overthink it. Now you just want to repeat those same steps on the other side of the frontal and you're going to let this root color sit for 30 minutes and then you're going to rinse it out. Now for this perfect tone blonde color that is perfect for any skin tone, especially my women of color. This is going to be your Wella Color Charm Toner and it's going to be in the color T27 Medium Beige Blonde. While the hair is still wet, all you're going to do is just going to mix that toner up with 20 volume developer. Make sure you follow the box instructions for the exact measurements. And you're going to paint that toner on, honey. It's just, and being that the hair is wet, it's going to be, you're going to be able to um, apply the product better and you won't even have to use as much. I use two boxes of toner. And if I didn't mention in um, previous um, part of this video, I use one box for the root color and then I use two boxes for the toner part. And you just want to apply that on. You can use the paintbrush. You can use your hands. You can use whatever. Um, you just want to paint that on, brush it through. And once you get done applying it to the whole wig, you're going to let it sit for 30 minutes. Off camera, I did go ahead and pluck this hairline. Y'all, look at this color. And like, the ring like is doing it no justice. When you see it in the end in the sun, OMG, this is like the perfect blonde for my women of color. Y'all are going to love this tone of blonde. I promise you, do not be scared to try that blonde. So now I'm here with my best friend. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm using the Level 16 Ruby Kisses Foundation. I'm using the lightest shade in that um, duo. And I'm putting that all over the frontal. I've already put that makeup on her cap. And I already cleaned her skin with 91% alcohol. And added a layer of Boho Skin Protect. Um, we won't be, she won't have a cape on in this video. And she may be looking crazy in this video. My best friend is expecting, so you know. 
I have to cater to her. I have to make sure my girl is comfortable at all times and whatnot. So, you know, just don't pay her no mind. <laughs> Let's focus on there. <laughs> So now you just want to position the wig on your client's head. Make sure you get them to hold it into place while you're adjusting the straps in the back. And once you're done doing that, you're going to go ahead and cut out those ear tabs. And you're going to get prepared to start gluing this lace down. So now I'm going to use our boho active. Where is my boho gang at? Yes, we're going to only use three layers because, y'all, let me tell you something about my best friend. She gets aggravated and she likes to peel her frontals up. So, honey, I don't even put that many layers on her because I already know her. She going to start peeling this frontal up. I don't know why she does that. But she gets aggravated. She starts peeling her frontal up. And, it, yeah, so... To just save her edges in her skin, honey. I don't even just I don't even put that much glue on her hairline. Cause she'll get sick of a wig real quick. So yeah. You're just gonna um dot that glue along the edge of the cap, making sure you're getting some of the glue on the skin. You actually do. And you just wanna smooth that back um as flat as possible. Then you wait till the layer turns clear and then you can add your um other layers. After your last layer is dry, go ahead and lay that lace down. Use the teeth of the comb to help you push it into the skin. And then you're going to use your blow dryer to make sure that glue is dry. Once you feel like it is dry, you're going to take your elastic band and you're going to tie it down. And you're going to sit your clown up on the dryer on medium heat for about 10 minutes. If you don't have a dryer, just sit there for 10 minutes, honey. We are now back from the dryer and now it's time to cut off that excess lace.
As you can see, that lace right now is a no-go, honey. So now we're going to go back in with that level 16. But we're going to use the darker shade. And we're going to put it on that frontal. And then once we get our part into place and everything and section off our baby hairs, we're going to take some hairspray in the elastic band again. And that's going to help blend that lace into the skin some more. When you use the transparent lace on darker skin, it's going to be a challenge, you guys. So you may have to use lace tint you may have to use a darker makeup you may just have to powder makeup you know but you gotta do what you gotta do to make it look the way you want it to so hey just put in that work and it'll work out for you baby
Now, originally, we were just going to keep the hair straight, but she was in the bathroom. She was like, you know what, bestie? I think I want to curl it. Because usually, mostly all the time, that's what she wears. She wears a side part with curls. And I was like, I want to try the side part straight. But she was like, let's curl it, bestie. I was like, you want to curl it? She was like, yeah. I'm like, period, poo. So I went ahead. Um, um, Ooh, I lost my thought. Get back on track. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so I went ahead and added some layers to the hair, and I cut the hair in a UV shape just so my curls can just fall so pretty. And, um, yeah, we finna get ready to curl this hair.
this is literally the best part about doing curls when you get to comb it out and you can just see everything fall together you know add your extra layers in there if you need to this is literally the best part about doing curls when i can run my fingers through it and just make it look so voluminous and so like oh my gosh y'all it's it's like i can't even explain it it's like it's like i don't know <laughs> it's like ecstasy for a hairstylist i don't know but yeah this is like my favorite part yeah definitely Oh, honey, this blonde is hitting. I promise you. Now, I had to do a yellow blonde on her. Like, I just left the 613 hair, like, the um, color out the box about three weeks ago on her. And we really didn't like it that much. But this tone blonde, you know, giving, like, a little ashy, uh, ashy golden look. Oh, baby. This is the one. If, you, if you're trying to figure out what tone of blonde you need to do, because, you know, you don't want it too, like, bright but you still want to be blonde girl get you that t27 honey i promise you this is so cute y'all i just can't i just can't stop talking about it like imagine seeing this in person girl i was sitting there like omg y'all the way that bang just fell <laughs> baby i'm smiling for you honey i love this make sure y'all shop julia hair and check the description box for more information once again, this is a 22 inch 613 by the way wig, 150% density. I thank you guys so much. Goodbye.